Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss a topic that's incredibly important, but often overlooked. Postpartum depression. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our informative videos. Let's get started. What is postpartum depression? First things first, what exactly is postpartum depression? Well, it's a serious mental health condition that affects women after giving birth. It's not the baby blues, it's a much more intense and long-lasting form of depression. Postpartum depression, often referred to as PPD, is a complex condition with multifaceted causes. It typically results from a combination of physical, emotional, and lifestyle factors. Here are some of the primary causes and contributors to postpartum depression. Hormonal changes. Hormonal fluctuations play a significant role in the development of postpartum depression. After childbirth, there is a rapid drop in the levels of hormones like estrogen and progesterone, which can affect mood regulation. Biological factors. Some women may be more biologically predisposed to mood disorders, making them more susceptible to postpartum depression. Family history of depression or other mental health issues can increase the risk. Lack of sleep. The demands of caring for a newborn often result in sleep deprivation. Sleep is crucial for mental well-being, and chronic sleep deprivation can contribute to mood disorders. Stress and anxiety. The stresses of motherhood, combined with anxiety about the new responsibilities, can overwhelm some women. Financial stresses or relationship issues can also increase stress levels. Past trauma. A history of trauma or previous experiences with depression can make a woman more susceptible to postpartum depression. Unresolved emotional issues can resurface during the postpartum period. Social isolation. Feeling isolated or lonely after childbirth, with limited adult interaction, can contribute to feelings of sadness and depression. Support from family and friends is critical during this time. Lack of support. Insufficient support from a partner, family, or friends can make the postpartum period more challenging. Having a strong support system is essential for emotional well-being. Childbirth experience. Traumatic or difficult childbirth experiences, such as emergency C-sections or complications, can increase the risk of postpartum depression. Unplanned pregnancy. An unplanned pregnancy or a lack of preparation for motherhood can add emotional stress and uncertainty. Body image and self-esteem. Changes in body image and self-esteem, which can result from pregnancy and childbirth, can impact a woman's mental health. It's important to note that postpartum depression is not the result of a woman's weakness or inability to handle motherhood. It can happen to anyone, regardless of their background or circumstances. Recognizing the risk factors and seeking support early is essential for managing and treating postpartum depression. Signs and Symptoms so, how can you recognize postpartum depression? Let's go over some common signs and symptoms to be aware of. Emotional symptoms, persistent sadness, overwhelming feelings of sadness, or a sense of hopelessness that lingers for an extended period. Irritability and mood swings, frequent mood swings, irritability, or extreme sensitivity to minor stresses. Anxiety, experiencing excessive worry, anxiety, and even panic attacks, often related to the well-being of the baby or other concerns. Guilt and shame. Unreasonable guilt or shame about perceived inadequacies as a mother, even when there is no rational basis for these feelings. Loss of interest and joy, a diminished interest in activities and hobbies that were once enjoyable, along with a general sense of emotional numbness. Difficulty bonding. Struggling to bond with the baby or feeling disconnected from the baby, despite wanting to establish a strong emotional connection. Behavioral symptoms. Social withdrawal, isolating oneself from friends and family, avoiding social interactions, and withdrawing from support networks. Changes in sleep patterns, insomnia or excessive sleep, often unrelated to the baby's sleep patterns, leading to fatigue and exhaustion. 
appetite changes, drastic shifts in eating habits, which can manifest as overeating or undereating, with little regard for proper nutrition. Physical symptoms, experiencing unexplained physical symptoms such as headaches, stomach aches, or other discomforts. Physical symptoms, fatigue and lack of energy, constant exhaustion and fatigue, even after rest or sleep. Physical aches and pains, experiencing physical discomfort, aches, or pains that can't be attributed to a specific cause. Cognitive symptoms, difficulty concentrating, struggling to focus, make decisions, or think clearly, often referred to as brain fog. Intrusive thoughts, having unwanted and distressing thoughts or images related to harm coming to the baby or oneself, although these thoughts are not acted upon. Suicidal thoughts, in severe cases, some individuals may experience thoughts of self-harm or suicide. These thoughts should always be taken seriously, and immediate professional help is essential. It's important to note that while these symptoms are common in postpartum depression, not every person will experience all of them. Symptoms can vary in intensity and duration. Furthermore, Postpartum depression can occur at any time within the first year after childbirth, and it's important to seek help if any of these signs or symptoms persist for more than a couple of weeks, as early intervention and support are crucial in managing PPD. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's advisable to seek assistance from a healthcare provider or mental health professional. Who is at risk? Now, Let's talk about who is at risk for postpartum depression. It's crucial to understand that anyone can experience it, but certain factors can increase the likelihood. Risk factors, a personal or family history of depression or mental health issues. A difficult or traumatic childbirth experience. Lack of a strong support system. Financial stresses or life changes. Hormonal fluctuations. Seeking help and treatment. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's essential to reach out for help. Postpartum depression is treatable, and the sooner you seek help, the better. Seeking help. Talk to a healthcare professional, such as your OBGYN or a mental health specialist. Join a support group or connect with other moms who've experienced PPD. Lean on family and friends for emotional support. Treatment options Therapy, including individual or group therapy Medication, if recommended by a healthcare provider Lifestyle changes, like exercise and a healthy diet Postpartum depression is a real and challenging condition, but it's essential to remember that there is hope, and recovery is possible. Never be afraid to seek help and support, you're not alone in this journey. Thank you for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more informative content. And as always, take care of yourself and your loved ones. See you next time.